Well, it's not to take away from Brisbane's victory, and I'm delighted to say that we can talk to one of the defending champions now because Orla O'Dwyer joins us from Australia. Uh, Orla, thanks for joining us on the show. Great to have you on. Listen, let's talk about the match of the weekend. How much of a big uh, victory was that for you? Yeah, it was a great um, victory, obviously. Coming in against Collingwood, I feel they had um, a lot to answer for after a tough um, prelim last year in the Gabba. So, um, yeah, coming up to Maruchida for our home game, it was very, very windy conditions, as you've probably seen in the highlights. But, um, yeah, it was great to get over the line. And obviously, a few Irish girls there with Sarah and Ashley too. Um, good to see them too. But, yeah, it was a great win for us. Um, there's been lots of interruptions to the season. It's been a bit chaotic this year. I was just wondering how have the um, COVID interruptions affected you guys, the Lions specifically? Yeah, it's, it's such an unpredictable season. And we said it from the start that the team who probably is um, the most adaptable is the team that will come out on top. So I suppose with games being changed all the time, weekly, and even who the opposition you're playing against, um, it can, I suppose you just don't really dwell on that as much. And I think what's really important and what we've learned after our first um, round one against Adelaide is that you just need to look at what's in front of you that week and just focus on that one opposition um, and do the best you can with that. And if plans change, you just need to adapt. Orla, after the opening round, there was that heavy defeat by the Crows and listening to a few podcasts and different things like this, a few people were beginning to write off the Brisbane Lions. Did that give you a new motivation coming back? You had that break and you've looked really strong since. Um, yeah, it was definitely um, a tough day out. We obviously lost two key players, um, um, Kate Lopkins and Dakota Davidson, due to injury. Um, so that in itself is a big blow. Um, with rotations being down two players, it, it, it is a big toll on the team. So adjusting to that, as well as the whole COVID situation and, and, and trying to get on top of that while you're playing a really good side who's hungry and wants kind of to get back at you as well, was always um, hard. So I think having those 16 days off was either going to gonna make or break us. And luckily enough, we had great training staff and, We've been doing lots of programs and we were keeping fit and I suppose resting our bodies and just being ready to go back. And I think that time off, especially for me, I realised that, wow, we're, we're really lucky to play and we we're all so itching to get back. And I, I think we really showed that when we played against Carlton in um, around two and we just went out and didn't hold back. Um, Orla, well done on your own performances to date so far in the competition. We're all so proud here in Ireland of everything you're doing over there. Um, just obviously, this is your third season in, in um, over there. And I just, wanted, I just wanted to know how you feel you've progressed personally, but also how has the competition progressed um, during your time out there, over there over the last three years? Yeah, it's definitely um, getting bigger and big, bigger each year. And... Um, with the four new teams coming in again next year, it's, it's going to just bring in 120 new players, which is phenomenal to think about. But I suppose for my personal growth, um, come, being from not knowing what to do, not knowing the rules, um, giving away 50 metre penalties in most games, um, I've learned a lot. And I, I think this year, I think it just comes down to having that experience and kind of trust in, and knowing your teammates Um we at Brisbane Lions have been very lucky not to lose much players to other clubs. And even with retirements as well, it's it's pretty much the same solid team that's been there for the three years that I've been there now. And I think we have a great bond and a great connection. And we really trust each other and we're starting to know each other's styles. And me personally, I think that new position, which I played last year as well, that wing position, very similar to Gaelic football and my style of running um, a lot um, really suits me. And I, I think I've really kind of grown from that. But yeah, the competition is, is getting bigger and, and bigger. And it's so exciting to see where it can go. And it's still so new. Orla, quickly, just to finish before we let you go, two quick questions. One, can you defend the title? And two, are the Crows the biggest challenge to that? <laughs> um, yeah, obviously... Um, that's what every team sets out to do to go out and win a premiership. And I think we have such a good setup. And after such a great season last year, um, 
I think what's really important is to remember those moments, but also focus on what's to come. And I suppose every team's out to get you now, and, and we're aware of that. Um, but hopefully, yes, another premiership is our plan. And Adelaide, look, they're on top, and they seem to be the team to beat at the moment. But, um, yeah, I think coming up against them again and just having more homework done about them and um, should be a lot better. But, yeah. Uh, they look like they're on top at the moment, but um, I'd love to get them in a final again. Oh, well, we look forward to that being another great final. Orla, thanks so much for coming on the show and we wish you and the Lions the very best for the rest of the season. Thanks very much and thanks for having me.